So I'm, I've been here in Canada since uh, more than three years now doing this uh, eco project. So what we are trying to do here is sort of to uh, link, you know, what we call inner ecology, which is heartfulness meditation with uh, uh, outside ecology, which is all about uh, construction and permaculture and, you know, greeneries, how to have a an holistic view of you know uh, what is nature with a big end because we are part of nature so here's a, a little uh, house that we have made only for uh, experimenting uh, all the you know earth based construction uh, and uh, of course uh, local local steel local products local uh, sourcing because we also i mean we want to reduce the carbon footprint so this is for instance the base is in a stone masonry which is uh, uh, the local stone the granite stone so obviously we use that as a base and uh, over there uh, all the rest has been uh, uh, done with the uh, mud experiments so for instance uh, this is this is uh, only mud uh, uh, lime plaster and uh, inside you can see all kind of you know, earth technique this is for instance uh, what we call water and dog which is a very uh, uh, simple techniques of using cob you know earth has a basic material with the with the straw mixed so that we can have some organic shape this is for instance rounded rounded wall which is also uh, mostly based on earth with the using stabilizer as uh, lime or cement and we have uh, for instance here pure cob what we call cob uh, cob wall or adobe wall, uh, wall which is also very strong uh, load bearing it's uh, it can take a lot of uh, weight and uh, and also wood wood is a very nice element but of course we use here exclusively uh, uh, reclaim wood you know from uh, um, uh, you know a house which has been dismantled in villages we just take uh, the reclaimed wood like for instance those doors come from the same set you know like we take doors windows and 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 we claim wood and also mangala tiles if they are in I mean of good quality and uh, yes that's uh, what we have done uh, so far here we have made a bit of uh, below zero construction uh, that is to also show you know what is the thermal effect of having uh, you know um, uh, you know a direct contact with the earth of course it should be waterproof but there is a lot of benefit for uh, you know uh, I will call uh, passive cooling strategy getting uh, um, naturally this uh, uh, this space uh, being very cool in in uh, in summer without any uh, fan or any of course AC. Okay, so here in this uh, garden, what we are trying to do is uh, mostly what we call permaculture, permaculture for permanent culture. So it's uh, basically trying to increase the biodiversity of the place. So of course we have to have a natural flow of uh, water harvesting, water being the four element. Uh, for gardening and, and, and uh, growing plants. So here we have system of, uh, you know, um, stagnant water which will be enriched after work for the plant and harvesting also the water. Here we are making a compost, a mostly different type of compost, even though mostly we are working with mulching. Uh, because mulching is a type of composting which is very simple and uh, require less amount of work and less amount of weeding. This is a very simple geothermal uh, uh, experiment that we have done. So it's uh, basically a kind of well with a six feet depth where we are sucking the air. So uh, the air is being pumped from the outside, going to the ground, being cool and going into the house. So you can say it's a kind of natural AC. It uh, consumes very less uh, electricity power because it just requires an exhaust fan. We have planted 
as much trees as possible. Uh, why? Because trees is the basis of uh, biodiversity and the basis of permaculture. We are trying to, you know, bring back, uh, go back to a kind of uh, climax. You know, the climax being, uh, you know, if we are not doing anything in this uh, place, our nature will take back its own course, and with the native plants, will you know reach cl uh, climax so in permaculture we are using that uh, word to trying to go with the flow of uh, nature and here we have planted lots of fruit trees so this is this is guava this is amla we have chiku we have olive tree because i love olive tree this is my native place in france and uh, this is uh, fig trees you know as you see also there is mushroom huge mushroom which has grown here this is the effect of uh, bringing uh, biodiversity here yeah, so my name is Francois Boudialic so I'm originally from France uh, I've been uh, my grandfather was a farmer I come from this background of uh, growing things so even though I've been working mostly in the finance industry uh, I'm an MBA graduate but uh, I took an early retirement in 2014 uh, to come to India because uh, I, you know, having this background, I wanted to uh, go into the, uh, let's say, farming. So initially I came to Kutch where uh, we have a, a, a nice farm of 10 acre over there. And now I'm in Kana because uh, uh, Kana is such an incredible place for, you know, permaculture, diversity, biodiversity. Uh, farming techniques. I mean, uh, it's a, it's a huge laboratory of uh, you know uh, growing a community uh, along with self-sufficiency in terms of water, electricity, uh, food. Basically, the most important things are people because uh, in permaculture we believe that you know uh, nature is not outside some nice greenery and all that. Nature with a big hand, I mean, we are part human beings as nature, as the core component. I will not say controlling the nature, but maybe having the maximal effect on it. So I welcome, uh, you know, all, any people who have any interest into uh, this movement. Uh, we call it the uh, Green Canna Initiative. But uh, mostly it is all about, you know, um, trying to... Uh, have a holistic view of uh, life itself so um, it's not about permaculture it's not about eco construction it's not only about meditation it's about creating a lifestyle which is suited for you know a kind of uh, consciousness journey i will call it